Today is a very cold and windy Thursday morning, 6am, and I just woke up. I will shortly begin working on my project, but before that, let's make some tea, do some exercises, and I'll see you guys at my workstation. Before starting to work on my project, I must study a bit while I'm still feeling productive enough for that. While studying, I was thinking how I can improve the look of my game. Now my game looks just really empty and not fun to look at, so my goal for today is to add uh, clouds into the background and also design different weather conditions to make the game look more dynamic and interesting. Also, my spawner script is a total mess and a disgrace to the programming language. It's over 300 lines, it does all the things, so I must achieve some kind of script separation, divide it into three different smaller scripts. One will be like a manager and two different scripts will be responsible for spawning one uh, hostiles and power-ups, the other clouds and other background things. As you can see now, the script is divided into three smaller ones. Everything works correctly. I had some troubles, but was fortunate enough that it wasn't too hard and I made it in about 30 minutes. Now I can move on to the next step and it's pretty simple just to create the prefabs and spawn them correctly. My main idea is to have three different weather types. One will be dry conditions, second cloudy conditions and the third is the storm. I will try to use some different prefabs, also apply post-processing filters to make it look like I want to. Fun fact, clouds were drawn using tropical tool because it looked better than the actual clouds tool. About an hour has passed, I made some really good progress and now this is how it looks. As you can see, clouds are spawned correctly at the bottom edge of the camera. Now I just need to apply the script and move clouds when they are out of the camera view. Ladies and gents, place your money if the script is applied correctly and it will work or not. I am definitely putting my money that it will absolutely not work. Round number two. And... No exceptions and yes, it works. Fun fact number two, it didn't actually work correctly so I spent another hour fixing that and I'm beginning to feel like a true game developer. Eventually I am here and as you can see it works, but I just need to add one more layer that is in front of the player and not behind him and it should look something like this. My main idea was to make you feel like you're crossing a cloud cover when you go down. I don't know if it worked, but I think I like it. Dry weather conditions are somewhat done. I will work on it tomorrow and now I have some unpleasant bugs to fix. I will not show that because that is not interesting, so see you guys probably tomorrow. Ah, very beautiful weather outside, unfortunately, today I will be working on unpleasant weather in my game. So let's put on some music and begin to work. You listen to this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Enough fooling around for today, let me show you what I did so far. So as you can see here, I have different cloud types attached to the script in the inspector. Also there are different cloud types, so there is a variety to choose from. Also I worked a bit on the game loader script, uh, which is a basically a script which has all the information that the game scene needs. And as you can see here, I have different weather types. So let's change it and see how it looks. The first weather condition is not that spectacular, nothing really happens here. 
and there are not a lot of clouds that limits your visibility. Next we have cloudy weather conditions and there are a lot of clouds that limits a bit your visibility and the screen is a bit darker. In the third scene I try to resemble a feeling uh, a moment before a storm. I don't know how it turned out, personally I quite like it, but tell me what do you think in the comments below. So I guess that's it for this video, I'll probably spend some more time tweaking the settings to make the scene look even more beautiful. And now I have to say thank you very much for watching and I'll be really happy to see you in the next episode.